If you're a writer, you need to know these 12 literary archetypes when creating your next character for a novel, screenplay, or any other project you may be working on. When building realistic and relatable characters, it's important to give them a set of traits that are specific and identifiable. From Harry Potter to the Epic of Gilgamesh, the protagonists in today's most successful stories share similar characteristics to those written in the past. Welcome to Abstract Youth, where gosh realities meet honest creatives. Today, we're going to be going over the 12 archetypes every writer needs to know. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment to let us know what other writing tips you would like to hear about. We appreciate your support and thank you for watching. All right, let's get started. The word archetype derives from the Latin noun archetypon, which is the romanization of the Greek noun archetypon, whose adjective form is archetypos, meaning first molded. This adjective is a compound of arche, meaning beginning or origin, and typos, which can mean pattern, model, type, or many other things. The term is famously used by renowned psychologist and psychoanalyst Carl Gustav Jung in his theory of the human psyche. Jung identified 12 universal archetypes that reside within our collective unconscious. These archetypes, when applied to literary works, help writers create an immediate sense of familiarity for their audiences to relate to. To do this, one must reveal their characters' recurring traits throughout various, seemingly unrelated events in their story, showcasing them through symbols or motifs. It's important to know that archetypes are not the same as stereotypes or cliches. A stereotype is an oversimplified characterization, such as the dumb jock or the awkward nerd. These kinds of characters are generally looked down upon in literature because of their simplicity and their potential for being antagonistic toward a group of people. A cliché is an event or an idea that has been used so often in literature that it becomes predictable, such as the chosen one or the damsel in distress characters. This doesn't mean you can't use stereotypes or clichés in your story, rather, it's just important to not build your characters around them. You may have heard about some archetypes in literature without even knowing it, such as the hero. However, some archetypes are less commonly known, like the magician. These archetypes can be used for good characters, bad characters, main characters, or even background characters. Some characters can even have traits that fall under multiple archetypes, while some have trouble finding just one category. Using the diagram, we can see that the 12 archetypes are divided into four quadrants based on their purpose in the story. The archetype's purpose in quadrant one is to find peace and paradise on their spiritual or physical journey. In quadrant two, the archetype's purpose is to create order and structure for the world and the people living in it. In quadrant three, the archetype's purpose is to connect with others to feel a sense of belonging in the world. Finally, in quadrant four, the archetype's purpose is to live a life that leaves a mark in the history books, tales, and legends. Each archetype not only falls under a certain quadrant, but they also can be categorized by soul, self, and ego types. Archetypes in these three categories share a common driving force. Soul types want to relate to a deeper process of finding and building one's authentic identity. Self types want to feel connected and to contribute to the world, and ego types want to reveal the center of their conscious identity. We'll break down each character archetype, starting with the ones in the first quadrant, the explorer, the sage, and the innocent. The explorer is a soul type archetype that believes paradise is freedom. Their purpose is to escape conformity by exploring the world and unraveling its mysteries. These characters wish to experience a more fulfilling life, and they fear becoming trapped in their environment or their minds. To avoid this, they flee from comfort, finding refuge in the unknown. They are often ambitious and true to themselves, but they can become easily lost on their journey if they wander too far from their intended destination. Some examples of famous characters who fall under the explorer archetype include Sherlock Holmes, Ariel, and Indiana Jones. The sage is a self-type archetype that believes peace can be found in knowledge. Their purpose is finding the truth. These characters attempt to understand the world in a logical way, and they fear being ignorant or manipulated. To avoid this, they seek out information and often go through the process of self-reflection. They are very wise, but they sometimes lack the motivation to help themselves and others. Some examples of famous characters who fall under the sage archetype include Yoda, Hannibal Lecter, and Hamish. The innocent is an egotype archetype that believes peace is found in the comforts of their own safety. Their purpose is experiencing life through a positive childlike lens. These characters wish to live a happy, untarnished life and fear facing pain and punishment for their wrongdoings. 
To avoid this, they always try to do the right thing. They possess an ample amount of faith and optimism that can be quite naive and easily manipulated. Some examples of famous characters who fall under the innocent archetype include Buddy the Elf, Dory, and Pippin. Moving on to Quadrant 2, we have the artist, the ruler, and the caregiver. The artist is a soul-type archetype that believes creating order and structure requires one to be innovative. Their purpose is creating new and valuable things. These characters bring their innovative ideas to life and fear creating or executing boring and unsuccessful ideas. To avoid this, they develop their skills and creative control. They are creative, imaginative, and unique, but can fall victim to perfectionism and stubbornly following through with bad ideas. Some examples of famous characters who fall under the artist archetype include Dr. Frankenstein, Tony Stark, and Remy. The ruler is a self-type archetype that believes control is the solution for bringing order to the world. Their purpose is to gain control over others and create structure in the world, including their own life. These characters often attempt to build a prosperous family or community, and they fear chaos and losing control. To avoid this, they attempt to enforce their rule on others. They are viewed as responsible and possessing great leadership skills, but can also be perceived as authoritarian and being unable to successfully delegate. Some examples of famous characters who fall under the ruler archetype include Voldemort, Mufasa, and King Arthur. The caregiver is an egotype archetype that believes service is how one creates structure in an unforgiving world. Their purpose is to protect and care for others. These characters help when no one else will and fear being unable to protect their loved ones from harm. To avoid this, they always choose to put others above themselves. They are compassionate and generous, but they intentionally suffer for others, making them easy targets for exploitation. Some examples of famous characters who fall under the caregiver archetype include Mary Poppins, Hagrid, and Charlotte. Moving on to Quadrant 3, we have the Lover, the Jester, and the Orphan. The Lover is a soul-type archetype that believes intimacy is the best way to connect with others and find meaning in the world. Their purpose is creating loving relationships with others. These characters attempt to be in relationships with the people and things they love and fear becoming unwanted, unloved, and alone. To avoid this, they try to become mentally, physically, and emotionally attractive. They have a strong sense of commitment and are very passionate about the things they care about, but they often blindly chase desires and abandon their identity. Some examples of famous characters who fall under the lover archetype include Romeo, Phil, and Belle. The Jester is a self-type archetype that believes pleasure is the path towards a sense of belonging in the world. Their purpose is to live joyfully in the moment. These characters fill their life with pleasure and fear becoming bored or boring others. To avoid this, they often choose to play over working on the task at hand and find humor in everyday parts of life. They are quite witty and full of joy but lack seriousness and often waste time. Some examples of famous characters who fall under the Jester archetype include Patricia, Jeannie, and the Weasley twins. The orphan is an egotype archetype that believes a sense of belonging is all one needs to find in this world. Their purpose is to connect with others. These characters yearn for integration and fear that they are destined to be alone forever. To avoid this, they develop virtuous traits and carry a down-to-earth attitude. They possess great empathy, lack judgment, and are realists, but they lack confidence in outgoing characteristics. Some examples of famous characters who fall under the orphan archetype include Harry Potter, Dorothy, and Luke Skywalker. Moving on to the fourth and final quadrant, we have the Rebel, the Magician, and the Hero. The Rebel is a soul-type archetype that believes liberation is how one leaves their mark on this world. Their purpose is living for revenge or revolution. These characters attempt to overthrow an unsuccessful system and fear feeling powerless and insignificant. To avoid this, they disrupt or destroy modern boundaries. They are radically free and independent, but they often cross commonly accepted moral boundaries and get caught up in the criminal world. Some examples of famous characters who fall under the rebel archetype include Princess Merida, Rocket Raccoon, and Jack Sparrow. The Magician is a self-type archetype that believes obtaining power is how one leaves a mark in the history books. Their purpose is to transform themselves by understanding and manipulating the universe. These characters strive to make their dreams come true and fear negative outcomes. To avoid this, they play life like a chessboard, each move strategically chosen. They have gifted intelligence and abilities, but sometimes manipulate others for their own desires and have a tough time relating with their peers. 
Some examples of famous characters who fall under the magician archetype include Aang, Orochimaru, and young Anakin. Finally, the hero is an egotype archetype that believes mastery is the best way to leave a legacy in the world. Their purpose is proving their worth through courageous acts. These characters improve themselves to improve the world and fear weakness and vulnerability. To avoid this, they try to grow stronger than their obstacles blocking their path. They are courageous and responsible, but can be arrogant. Some examples of famous characters who fall under the hero archetype include Rocky Balboa, Neo, and Superman. These 12 archetypes can be found in many forms of writing, from poems to theatrical pieces, but they're not the only ways to describe characters in a story. In fact, Joseph Campbell, the architect of the famous hero's journey concept, helped popularize the idea of using eight different archetypes in a protagonist's adventure. However, we'll leave that for another day. For now, thank you so much for watching Abstract Youth, where gosh realities meet honest creatives. We hope this information about character archetypes helps you strengthen your writings on future projects, and let us know in the comments if you think stories need characters with identifiable and consistent traits. While you're at it, check out some of our other videos here at Abstract Youth.